What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, look, let me break down what we're talking about today. The title said, don't do nothing free for them folks. Who are those folks? Those folks are the billionaires and multi-millionaire elites um, that own every single corporation, everything um, that we see around us. And um, a lot of times when they pay us millions to produce for themselves billions, um, there's a, um, a mindset that kicks in that looks at you and us like, hey, you know, be grateful I gave you that. Take what I gave you. Be glad you got this. Be glad you got that. And a thought that feels like um, over time you should be willing to even do things for them on what we call GP, just just because, just because they've done this for you in the past, or they paid you this, or gave you this contract, they signed you for this many millions when they gave you your record deal, or your football, or your basketball contract. Um, and some of us fall for that, not factoring in the fact that, okay, there's a reason why they gave you or they paid you the millions that they paid you is because you generated that money and more. They didn't pay you. You never got paid what you was worth. They gave you a piece, a percentage out of what you actually were worth and what you actually generated for them. They took the big cut. They got the big piece of chicken. And so now if there's something that comes along, like you look at you see it a lot of times in sports where, um, a guy's coming up for a contract, and they say, well, man, look, man, we're trying to bring in this guy, but the, the salary cap is this way, and, and the best, the only way we'll be able to do it and give us a chance to win, you got to take a pay cut, or you got to take less money. You know, your deal, we can't sign you to the max, but we can give you a little bit less, and then we'll break you off on the back end. And a lot of times when, that back, when it's time for that back end, that's exactly what you get. You get hit in the back end because they renege on promises, they flat out lie, um, and they deceive you in order to, to get what they want to get out of you. So my thing in any field, man, when you're dealing with big time billionaires and people with a lot of money, man, and you know you're putting in the work and you're not nowhere near um, their financial bracket, man, don't do nothing for free for them. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You make them pay you for everything. You know, when you're talking about on a smaller grassroots level, you know, you're dealing with people, the independents and, and maybe smaller businesses, smaller companies, smaller people that want to pay you for your services. Okay, then, in my opinion, those are times where you may say, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to give them a discount. I'm going to look out for the homie, you know, who might just want to give me on a song or or whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm going to look out for this small business. They wanted me to do a commercial or, you know, whatever it is. Whatever. An endorsement. Whatever. But, man, you would be a fool to give a billionaire a discount. That's just out and out ridiculous. Um, and I know sometimes sometimes people think and they say to themselves, they say, well, man, you know, Sometimes it's not about the money, it's just about the, the relationship, it's about the opportunity, it's about um, the look. In, in other words, like if you if you perform at this or you do this on that, it's a good look, it's a big look. And you know, and, and I know it's a time and place for that. You know, you may not be, um, your name may not be at a point where you can demand this uh, exorbitant amount of money or whatever, but... Um, so, so I get that to a degree, but but even with that, man, depending on who you're dealing with, man, you better ask them there's some kind of budget in place. You may not have to charge them uh, $500,000, but you need to ask is some type of budget in place for you to be compensated for your work because I can guarantee you if they, if they see um, any value in having you be a part of anything of what, of what they're doing, then... Um, the value that they're seeing uh, equates and translates into revenue on some level for them. So it's only right that you deserve a share of that revenue. Um, and, and let me tell you something, I don't care how much money you got. Because a lot of times people will say, well, man, I mean, no, yeah, man, he's been in the league um, 
twelve years, man. You know, he already worth two hundred, three hundred million. See, he he could take a he could take a cut, man. He could he could do it, man. That's selfish. Dude, you ain't telling them billionaire owners that they selfish. You're not telling them that. You know, but you want to tell this guy, I don't care how much money um Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and all these guys, I don't care how much money that they have, they always trying to get some more. They have not stopped trying to make money, even up into the hundreds of billions of dollars um, of their net worth, with which their net worth is um, uh, estimated at in some of those guys' cases, they are still trying to make money. There was no ceiling. There was never a time when they stopped and said, all right, where am I at? I'm at $100 billion now? Okay, we good. We good. I'm retiring. I'm stopping. They still trying to make money. So why should you stop? Why should you uh, be giving discounts to them? You'll never catch them. You're not, that's number one. You'll never catch them because they were already uh, giving a head start in the game. They were already um, uh, thousands of light years ahead <laughs> in the money game than, than you were. So you'll never catch them. But in the meantime, I don't care how much I got you're going to always peel off some of yours to, to give me a little bit more. That's just the bottom line. We got to stop having that slave mind. Of just, well, no, it's okay. I mean, you know, I mean, he, he was good to me. And he, yeah, okay, yeah, he, 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 he broke you off a little something, something. But um, never forget how fast they will replace you uh, when it comes down to uh, if, if, if you're not producing if you stop producing on the level that they're accustomed to see you producing on, never forget how fast they'll replace you. So if and when the time comes when they do replace you, when they do cut you from the team, when they do drop you from the label, whatever happens when you when you stop uh, being productive at your regular nine to five job, or even if you are still being productive, they just feel like, hey man, we paying this guy too much. We could bring some young cat in um, straight out of college, um, that that's, that's that can do the same job and, and give him way less. If and when that time comes, bro, or sis, they're not gonna feel any remorse for you. They're not gonna feel any remorse for your family. So man, go and get your bread. Go and get your money, man. Go and get every single penny of it and fight tooth and nail for it for what you know that you deserve. And don't let them trick you into saying, okay, well, no, you know, I think you should really look out for the company and the company this and the franchise this and the, the label this and we're a family. Now, they're family. You're not part of their family. Don't ever make the mistake of thinking that you're part of their family, man. Don't do nothing free for them folks. I'm telling you. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Y'all leave a comment let me know. Um, what I may have forgot to say, uh, you know, something that y'all may be on that, that I didn't remember. Um, but in the meantime, when y'all get through watching this video, y'all make sure y'all go to the Underground Dialogue Podcast right here on YouTube. Underground Dialogue Podcast and take, check out the latest episode with the interview with the great Trill OG Bun B. And, um, you know, leave a comment and share and subscribe to that channel as well. And I'll catch y'all later on. Peace. All right.